The country's second largest residential area, Aleppo, suffers twin car bombings that claim at least 25 lives. Responsibility was initially claimed by a senior member of the armed opposition, but that was later denied by the Free Syrian Army's chief. With no UN mandate to intervene in the crisis, the United States is now said to be gathering a coalition of countries willing to prop up the opposition and pile more pressure on Damascus. But some activists say intervention will be a costly mistake. In Syria, I think it is a matter of there are some very legitimate interests in the country of people who would like to be able to participate more in their government. And I think the government has made some effort to respond. I think it needs to make more of an effort, but I don't think that comes through foreign intervention. It comes through indigenous processes of the people in the country. If you look at any foreign intervention over the last several years, you see that after the foreign intervention, many more people died than could have possibly died through any type of indigenous process, even one involving violence. And I think that Moscow and some of its allies on this matter are very wise in seeing the pitfalls of foreign intervention. And as the UN Charter makes it very clear,